Come on. Come on, buddy. Hi, <sighs> yo. What is up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Um, today's video, obviously, much different from any video that I've ever done. Um, this situation is by far the toughest situation I've had to deal with on the channel. It's obviously, as a lot of you probably understand and know, it's been one of my uh, biggest fears for the last five years of having the channel, um, and that is getting demonetized. Oh, all right. I've been, um, I've been uh, trying to figure out uh, a good plan um, while, up, while up in Alaska. And mind you, this video, I'm just gonna run it through. We're gonna get straight to the point. Um, I'm not gonna beat around the bush on anything because being in Alaska, I had zero cell service. I had very, very limited Wi-Fi. I still haven't uh, replied to all of your guys' messages, DMs. My head's so full of, I had to make sure, my head's so full of just worrying, um, I had to make sure I pressed record on the camera. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. The biggest, I have so much appreciation uh, for Mr. Andrew Flair, my, my friend and my, my business partner. And um, uh, without him, I don't know wh where we would be right now. Because up in Alaska, like I said, I could not be on the internet. I couldn't call anybody. I couldn't research. I couldn't Google. Nothing. So trying to get a hold of somebody uh, concerning demonetization while in a remote uh, area like Cold Bay, Alaska was uh, pretty much couldn't do it. So number one, Mr. Andrew, Andrew Flair, thank you, my brother. Um, he went to bat for me. So did Seek One. A lot of you guys know both of those guys. Um, just to start it off here, uh, hunting on YouTube has always been an issue. Um, a lot of you know that have been here a while, some videos get demonetized and a lot don't. And we've went through some highs and some lows with having issues concerning uh, getting demonetized. So I, uh, it was right before I left for Alaska, Andrew called me and I was like, hey, what's up you know because i don't get a lot i don't get called from andrew every week so when he calls i'm like hell something's going on and he was like bob i got really bad news uh what we've always feared is coming down the pipe and this is right before i left for alaska and i'm like what do you mean he said senor bassin uh just got demonetized seek one got demonetized i'm like no way he was like you're next he was like i guarantee it Sure enough, three days later, I leave for Alaska. Me and P. Diddy are in Anchorage, sipping a cold one at a bar uh, in the airport. We had like a four hour layover and I was just bored. I pulled out my phone, opened my email, and sure enough, there's the uh, statement email regarding my channel will no longer be eligible for monetization. And it was a lengthy email and it kind of describes some things, but it didn't give a lot of help. It literally just left me lingering wondering what in the heck do I do now? And it was at the beginning of the biggest trip of my life. I'm in Anchorage. So you can imagine brrr, everything, all of my emotions. Um, I'm on the phone with Andrew. I call him right away and tell him, he's like, oh my God, you know? And then right away, big shout out to Seek One. They called me, gave me a lot of good information of what they had found. Um, so there I was, kind of just left in the dark and still um, still supposed to make really good videos for you guys in Alaska. Uh, the first, I think it was the first three days, the first three hunts I was demonetized. So my mind was really in another place. We still made amazing videos. By the way, the next video that goes up uh, after this one, which I don't know, it might be Tuesday or Wednesday, um, will be the first Alaska video. I think we have between six and eight videos that are gonna come your guys' way. Um, another reason why I've taken some time off was I didn't have any Wi-Fi to upload there. And with the demonetization, I, I was just like, okay, we're gonna have to restructure the entire program and uploading schedule and, and what's worth it and what's not. I was, I was automatically, was like, okay, well now I have to get sponsors for every video to kind of make it worth the while, but we need to keep I'm just gonna spitball here, but we need to keep the channel going for SEO purposes. 
So long story short, uh, probably the third or fourth day, Andrew calls me and says, hey, we have really good news. Uh, they seen my video. And I'm like, what do you mean they seen your videos? Like they seen my, my video concerning your channel and demonetization and all this. I'm like, no way. He actually got on the phone with uh, the VP of uh, monetization for YouTube and really pulled some strings and not only pulled some strings, but found out there was some mistakes made on my end and on their end. Uh, one of them uh, is checking boxes uh, that pertain to the content of the video, which I've never had really foul language, you know, explicit and this, and I don't call hunting violent. So me checking a lot of those boxes I mean, really, a lot of them didn't pertain to what I do because I really try to keep the, the channel clean and um, appropriate and let's just call it good for all audiences. You know what I mean? Uh, he was like, tomorrow we'll see if your stuff gets monetized. Sure enough, the next like midnight pretty much, uh, I woke up that morning and seen that all of my videos had been remonetized except for... Uh, my latest one about the pit blind, and I have no idea why it isn't, but I don't care. Uh, so where we're at now, th this is where I've got a lot of questions about um, is what's going to happen now to the channel. So right now, we are re-monetized. I was demonetized for four to five days. Um, luckily, th again, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, thank you, Andrew. Uh, when I got that news, it turned my entire trip around. Um, it was about halfway through, and it was perfect. I, I got happy real quick and we had a heck of a time, you know, let me turn this AC off Got happy. I got really happy. It, it turned my whole trip around and uh, Again, thank you, Andrew. I'm probably gonna say it a hundred times, but I don't care uh, He really helped a brother out and he's always in my corner He's always helped me and I just want to say something before we go any farther if you make an agreement with somebody, a handshake man agreement as, hey, like this is me and Andrew, and he says, hey, I'm gonna help you build your life and your channel and, and help you get uh, to where you have a career and a life in hunting, and, and you can make these videos um, to make money and, and provide for your family. When you make that agreement, that is a man-to-man, -man, blood brother agreement. And I just wanna say um, thank you to Andrew Andrew for always being in my corner, never leaving me hang, and uh, it's a good deal, man. Always stay true to uh, your word. I'll, I'll end it there, but the, the trip turned around real quick, uh, but where we're at now, where we're at now, what's gonna happen now? Um, so this is my plan. I'm gonna start uploading these Alaska hunts, which they are amazing. Uh, P. Diddy filmed most everything with the big camera, big lens, drone uh they are epic videos so do not miss any of them um i'm not just gonna upload them all we'll probably do at most two a week starting out here um because these videos mean a lot to me and i don't just want to cram them and upload them i want to trickle them out they're going to be very cinematic beautiful shots beautiful hunts brant hunts duck hunts big goose hunts salmon fishing everything so I want to space them out and just see how the monetization process is now. And what I mean is all those boxes, I got to start checking, which is fine, uh, but it's going to, it's going to do something to the ads, which I don't know exactly. Basically, we're just going to have to start slow, um, start slow, see what happens. So right now, my plan is to, ha is to have quality instead of quantity if you know what i mean uh before this happened so last year we were uploading four times a week this year i've been uploading three times a week trying to get more quality slack over quantity and now we're really gonna and it worked it's really worked I, i've seen a good reaction from you all um there has been some comments like bob you need to upload more well i see what the numbers do and you guys don't so i want to run my channel um like a well-oiled machine. And, uh, and I think this is the best idea moving forward. So we're gonna start with these uh, Alaska videos and we're gonna upload probably at most two a week. If everything rea reacts good, uh, we'll get back into the three, three a week or, you know, once we get into October and November especially because November is guide season. Now, 
The videos will be a little different. Uh, as far as the gun camera goes, I probably won't have it on my barrel any longer. And, and the only reason is, is because there's a very, very strong statement from YouTube uh, depicting violent, explicit content. And, and that does exist in hunting, whether we want to admit it or not. And that gun camera, it zooms in, it slows down. It's an awesome, awesome video to watch. But if we were to choose anything in my videos that was explicit, um, you know, violent, it would probably be that where you're seeing that bird get crunched um, in slow-mo and up close. So um, I'm gonna be trading the gun camera in for way more big camera footage with big long lenses. So um, I think it's the theory of like Call of Duty, you know, those gun cameras produce a red dot. It's very personal. It's the person wielding the gun. You get to, you get to see it firsthand. I think that's what they don't like. So. Mr. Bobby Guy is going to do everything I can to make them happy um, because I need my channel monetized. I know some people will go, well, say, what, say whatever you want, but as a YouTuber, it's one of the first reasons why you're chasing the views. is isn't just for viewage and growth. You're also chasing uh, your ad revenue every 28 days. You know, you want to get higher ad revenue every 28 days, and that gives you the ambition to produce better videos or upload more or manage your channel better so you can make more money every month. And not having that option, when I was thinking about it, up in Alaska, I'm like, everything I've done, the ba my baby, had, my five-year-old child has been swept away from me. And that's exactly how I felt when it happened. I was in Alaska and it was like I lost a five-year-old child. And not completely. I, I, you, losing a child is much more much more traumatic than losing monetization on a YouTube channel, but I'm just trying to give it a reference. Um, and I'm sure you guys understand where I'm coming from. Uh, but one of the stress, more stressful parts of my life on the biggest trip of my life, and it just, it all came down at, together. And I really, I got off social media, which kind of had to being up in Alaska, but being up there, I, I think looking back, it was a perfect time for it to happen because it got my, I was away. I didn't have to be on my phone looking at everything, you know. I still haven't even watched every mo every video you like Mendax and Seek One and I haven't even got to watch all of their update videos about their channels, but um that's kind of where we stand now. Um the videos aren't going to be much different. The gun camera uh but I'm still going to be giving my tips. You're going to see the hunts um, if anything changes, let's say I start putting up these videos and something changes, you guys will be the first to know about it. And, um, it's just been a stressful time. <laughs> it's been such a stressful time. Um, I, uh, I, ch I made the decision to do this, uh, be because I wanted to do what I loved and I didn't want to clock in for someone else anymore. And, um, I just want to say thank you to Ducks, uh, Andrew, um, everybody out there that's always been in my corner, especially Ducks, Bucks, Guggen. Uh, thank you to them three companies. Um, without them, I wouldn't have a hope. I wouldn't still be here. And without you guys purchasing Ducks, I would not be here uh, still to this day. So uh, thank you guys so much. And... Um, like I've always said, if you guys want to purchase something from Ducks, use code BOB to save yourself some money. Um, and I know uh, a, a lot of you that are new to the channel probably don't understand what I'm saying about the Ducks stuff. But a lot of you that have been around here uh, since day one understand when some of those videos would get demonetized back in the day, I would be like, thank, thank you to Ducks because it's a steady deal. You know, it's my steady partner. It's my steady... If it wasn't there, I, again, I don't think I would have been able to make it. So, I don't know what else to say about it. If you guys have any questions, any other questions, um, drop a comment down below. Uh, I'll try to answer a few of the questions that I've been asked right now. Bobby, are you going to make a second YouTube channel? As of right now, no. Um, 
As of right now, no. I didn't delete any of my videos. I almost did, uh, but when my channel went demonetized, there was no reason to delete any videos that I had because they were all automatically demonetized. And when I mean demonetized, there's a YouTube studio app. And if one gets limited ads, it's got like a yellow check mark, uh, money mark. If it is completely demonetized, there's no money mark and it's no color that's gone. And that's what happened to all of my 500 plus videos, you know? So when you see that as a YouTube creator, you're like, oh my God, all of the hard work, all of it gone, but we're back. Uh, we're going to try to make it better than ever. Um, I'm doing everything to get my spirits back up. I am very happy to uh, be home and back with my family. Um, and I want to get back in the groove with you guys. And it took a little break. It's been over a week, a week and a day since I've uploaded. I don't think we've ever went that long without uploading since day one. Uh, but we're back. Um, I'm trying to think of some other questions that have been asked. Um, I think I covered everything really. If you have anything, drop it below. I'll be in the comment section a bunch on this video. But yeah, I'm gonna get to work. We got a lot of work to do in here. Um, but thank you all for, for always being here, always being a part of what I do. Thank you for all of the wholehearted uh, messages that I've got. Um, there's been a lot of you that said, hey, I seen Flair's video or I seen Seek One talking about you. I'm so sorry, Bobby. And, and a lot of you just in my corner, thank you all. Uh, I have built one tremendous community here and I can't, I don't know how I did it. I got lucky, I guess, but um, you guys are family to me, friends and family to me. And uh, I'm glad just to, to have the chance to kind of start over. And that's what this is. We're gonna start over. We're gonna make sure these videos are super legit and clean. Um, no ringing necks on birds, no blood. Um, we're gonna have more camaraderie, more fun, more big cameras. So we're not gonna be missing out on anything. But subscribe if you haven't, guys. Thank you guys for being here. I hope I answered all of the questions that you wanted me to. Again, drop a comment if you have a question. But um, until next time.